in estimating of fitting logistic regression model, we may want to have a result that is somewhat intuitive in terms of interpretation and its communication for policymakers. And therefore, we may want to consider how to use logistic regression that reports odds ratio. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fit logistic regression that reports odds ratios. And on top of that, I'm going to show you how you can transform these results into marginal probabilities and use marginal plot to interpret these results intuitively for policy communication purposes. Join me in class and let's see what I have for you. Thank you. Okay, so today I'm here to show you how to fit or estimate logistic regression that reports odds ratios. And I'm specifically going to look at how increase in years of education can influence the likelihood of a graduate getting employed. Okay, I'm going to start by first describing the variables that I'm going to use for the analysis. And so I type the command describe. Then I select employee and education okay so i press the enter key okay so as you can see employee is an indicator variable representing graduate employment status in other words it represents whether a graduate is employed or not okay then education is measured in years and it represents current years of education completed by a graduate okay at this stage, I'm also going to summarize these variables just to show you or just for us to have more understanding of how each variable was measured. And so I do that by using the command sum. Then I select again, employee. Then I pick education. Okay. So again, I press the enter key and here, as you can see from the result, employee is a dichotomous or binary dependent variable because it's min and max are zero and one respectively. And you can also see that education is a continuous variable with a minimum years of education to be seven years and maximum number of years of education to be 19 years. Okay. Now let's move on to fit the logistic regression model. And over here, because we are interested in the odds ratios, I'm not going to use the command logit, but I'm going to use the command logistic. And so I estimate it by typing logistic. Then I select employed and I select education. Okay. At this stage, I'm going to press the enter key. And this is what I have so you can see from the result we have the log likelihood estimate for the model and the top right side here gives us the diagnostic statistics of the model you can see that the number of observations used for estimating or fitting the model is 1717 and we also have the likelihood ratio chi-square here to be 10.7 with its corresponding probability to be this value. Now, considering or looking at the probability, we can see that it is significant and therefore we can see that the test for fitness of our model is satisfied and therefore we can confidently say that our model is well estimated. Okay, so let's take a look at the main results over here. You can see that I have the odds ratios here I have the standard errors with the Z values and the P values, as well as the confidence intervals. Okay, so in discussing the results, the results here tells me that a one year increase in education increases the odds of a graduate getting employed by 7.5%. Okay, the increment comes by the surplus or by the decimal point. Okay, so if I am to take it again, the result here implies that a one-year increase in the 
years of education of a graduate increases the odds of the graduate getting employed by 7.5 percent okay now you can see that the result here is not all that intuitively clearer so uh, to make it easier for interpretative purposes i'm going to move a step further by estimating the marginal effect and i do that by using the command margins then I say comma at education, then I bring my equal sign, then I open a parent. At this stage, I'm interested in computing the marginal effect for education starting from seven years to 19 years with an increment of two years of education. And so I do that by typing seven, then I open a parent to close the parent and then 19 and I close the parent again okay now I press the enter key and so as you can see one at stands for seven years of education two at stands for nine years of education through to 19 years of education represented by seven at okay you can also see that from seven it is nine meaning that there's an increment of two from nine to eleven there's an increment of two simply because we told stated that it should compute the marginal effect of education from seven years of education to 19 years of education with an increment of two years of education and that is exactly what data has produced for us okay let's go to the main results okay over here you can see that at one, which represents seven years, the result here tells us that the marginal effect or the marginal probability of a graduate with seven years of education getting employed is 67%, okay? And it goes like that. However, if I may consider 19 years represented by at seven, the result here tells me that the marginal probability of a graduate with 19 years of education getting employed is 83%. Okay, so that is what the result here is telling us. Now, you can also see that as the years of education increases, the marginal probability of a graduate getting employed also increases accordingly. Okay, and so we can confidently say that there is a positive relationship between years of education and the likelihood of a graduate getting employed as far as our result is concerned okay now this evidence or this observation is also confirmed by the result itself okay in odds ratios signs do not show for you to know whether the odds ratio of a variable is positive that odds ratio must be greater than one okay it must be one with some decimal point behind it and so you can see that we have odds ratio of 1.07 and thereabout so this tells you that this is positive and so it confirms what we are seeing down here by our marginal effect or marginal probability result that as years of education increases, the marginal probability of a graduate getting employed also increases accordingly as far as our data or our study is concerned. Okay, I can also compute the marginal probabilities in the form of a graph and then discuss it accordingly. And to do that, I'm going to use the same command. And so I just click on it here, just that it will appear down here for me. And at this time, I'm not going to add anything, but just to add the option plot and press the enter key. Now you can see that the same results or the same table is provided, but this time a graph is produced in addition. Okay. And so as you can see from the graph, the horizontal axis, okay, tells us the current years of education completed by a graduate and the vertical axis represent the marginal probability of a graduate getting employed okay so intuitively looking at the graph the result tells us that as the years of education increases the probability of a graduate getting employed also increases marginally and that is what we see here okay and this positive relationship as we saw from the marginal effect table is confirmed by the graph as well
okay so another way of presenting the marginal effect in the form of table is by the use of the margins plot okay let me shut it down here so this is how you estimate logistic regressions reporting odds ratio using the command approach at this stage i'm also going to show you how you can use the point and click approach to fit the model the same way okay and interpret them accordingly and to do that i come to or i move to statistics and go to binary outcomes and under the binary outcomes you can see logistic regression reporting odds ratios okay so i pick it up by clicking on it and then it is requesting for my dependent variable so i select employ okay here i have it then again i'm supposed to provide the software with my independent variable which is years of education so i pick it up then at this stage i can hit the ok button okay so just as you see here the results is the same as what we had when we were using the command approach okay is the same thing okay so just as i said the result here interpreting it in the form of odds ratio tells me that a one year increase in education increases the odds of a graduate being employed by 7.5 percent accordingly okay again it is somewhat not fully intuitive interpreting using odds ratios so most of the times it is ideal to compute the marginal probabilities for interpretative purposes okay and to do that this time i'm going to go back to statistics and then now at this stage i go to post estimation then as you can see already highlighted marginal analysis so i click on that then under it i highlight on marginal means and marginal effect fundamental analysis so i launch it okay i'm gonna close this dialog box at this stage okay so i can play with this one then over here i'm being requested to provide the variable for which i'm computing the marginal probabilities or the marginal effects and so i select education by clicking on the drop down arrow here and then it will give me education for me to select okay then remember that when i was using the command approach i instructed stata to compute the marginal probabilities or the marginal effects from seven years of education to 19 years of education with an increment of two years of education so i'm going to type the same thing here so i type seven open parent two close parent 19 so what i've told stated here is exactly what i said i want the marginal effect or the marginal probabilities of education from seven years of education to 19 years of education with an increment of two okay at this stage i hit my submit button okay let me drag this aside a bit so the same way or the same result is produced just as i was using the command approach and so you see one at seven two at nine through to seven at 19 with an increment of two from or at each stage okay going to the main result you can also see that the marginal probability or the marginal effect table i have here or result i have here is the same as what i had when i was using the command approach okay and so to interpret this result what i am seeing here taking seven years of education represented by at one implies that the marginal probability of a graduate with seven years of education getting employed is 67 percent okay likewise if i consider the extreme which is 19 years of education then the result tells us that the marginal probability of a graduate with 19 years of education getting employed or getting a job is 83 percent okay just as we saw using the command approach okay again i can also compute the marginal probabilities in the form of graph just as i did when i was using the command approach and therefore to do that i'm going to call my dialog box again 
it's hidden somewhere here let me pick it up okay and then at this stage I've already filled the top so I'm not gonna do anything I'm only interested in the graph and so I tell Stata by checking this box so it can be read as draw profile plot of results okay now from here I click on the OK button and again the same table is reproduced just as we saw when we're using the command approach but at this time or at this stage a graph is also produced in addition to the table okay and as you can see the horizontal axis represents current years of education completed by a graduate and the vertical axis here tells us the marginal probabilities of a graduate getting employed okay and so intuitively looking at the graph what the result is telling us is that as years of education increases the probability of a graduate getting employed increases marginally okay so that is what the result is telling us and looking at this result again it confirms what we are seeing here okay there is a positive relationship between years of education and the likelihood of a graduate getting employed okay as far as our data or our study is concerned okay all right so that is it i hope this is helpful make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not done so do that and i will thank you so that all the videos that i'll be releasing you can have access to them and then study along the way with me bye bye